Just like for uh, areas, we also can calculate volumes using integration techniques. I'll consider the following solid. So on the left hand side, you see a circular cylinder. And uh, it's easy to find the volume of such a thing if we would know the radius of the circle we see there and the height. So this here in yellow we see the circle which gives the ground surface. Yeah, so the ground area. So and if we have the height h, then we know that we can calculate the volume of this circular cylinder by calculating the ground surface, which is pi r squared when r is the radius of the circle times h. Yeah, so the volume is given by p r squared times h. The object on the right hand side is called a cylinder, so there's a kind of area that we just pull up at height h. Yeah, so here we have a height h and the area that is pulled up or pulled down is the red one. So we see on, on top we get the same a as at the floor and uh, the volume of such a thing yeah so such a thing is a cylinder here. This volume is given by the size of A, or just A, times H. Well, this will be at the basis of what is coming next.